Relationships are so important. The relationships we have with our children, our parents, our spouses, our friends, our coworkers, and potential love interests are so important because they play such critical roles in our life and in our happiness. But did you know that the devil works overtime trying to destroy our relationships each and every day? As a matter of fact, I'm going to share with you a way in which he tried to destroy one of my valuable relationships. And he did it by using one of his most effective and destructive tools. Extraordinary Living, helping you transition from where you are to where God wants you to be. One of my friends sent me a text that made my blood boil. I was at work when I received it and I was so heated that I couldn't even focus on what I was doing. In her text, she was expressing her anger with me for what she considered to be a deep betrayal. Now, the reason I was so angry was one, because of the crazy way she had come at me, and two, because her accusations were bananas. So I responded back in an equally angry tone, chastising her for even thinking I would do what she was accusing me of. I was hot. She was hot too. <laughs> then after a few minutes had passed, we got on the phone and we talked. And thank God we did because we quickly discovered what had happened, really hadn't happened, and that our issue was immediately resolved. Now, looking back at that scenario, I realized that if we had not talked in her mind, she would have had every right not to speak to me again. And in my mind, I too would have had every reason not to speak to her either. And this would have been the perfect example of the devil destroying yet another relationship due to some miscommunication. You see, communication is the key to maintaining healthy relationships, but miscommunication is the tool the enemy uses to destroy relationships. It happens all the time. People will cut people off because of what they've heard or because of something they perceive that person has done. But many times a simple conversation would clear up so many things and save so many relationships. What we have to remember is that the devil never plays fair. And if he can start some mess out of miscommunication, he will. Why? Well, because he's a low life and he will cause drama even with the simplest of things. For instance, the other day, I looked at something in my house and I said, this looks terrible. My husband immediately responded in a somewhat defensive tone and said, no, it doesn't. So I responded back. Yes, it does. Then two days later, he looks at the exact same thing I was looking at. And you know what he says? He says, this looks terrible. What? So I'm like, baby, when I looked at it and said it looked terrible, you were disagreeing with me. And he says, oh, that's what you were talking about? I thought you were talking about the paint job I did. Another case of classic miscommunication. Now, if I had known that Van thought I was insulting his paint job, I would have immediately cleared that up. Now, of course, I'm a better painter, but he's good too. But, but seriously, do you see how potentially damaging miscommunication can be? So what you have to remember is that the enemy's goal is to destroy your relationships, especially the ones that are good for you. And because many of us would rather be in our feelings and cut somebody off instead of going to them and trying to discuss the issue first, we fall prey to one of the enemy's most effective and destructive tools, which is miscommunication. Now, don't get me wrong. Even after you've properly communicated with an individual who you believe has done you wrong, you might come to the conclusion that they still need to be cut off. And that's fine. All I'm saying is that proper communication can save many relationships that should never have been destroyed in the first place. In Matthew 5:18, Jesus tells us exactly what to do when a problem arises between us and someone else. He says, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. So here we find Jesus promoting proper communication. Now, the truth is, when you go to that person, they can respond in a variety of ways. They can say, I did it. And now what? And in that case, you're going to have to ask God for his restraining power. Or they could say, yes, you know, you're right. And I'm sorry. Or they could even say, oh, no, I didn't do that. There must be some misunderstanding. And if that's their response, you just saved a relationship that could have been destroyed by miscommunication. So I want to encourage you today to practice proper communication so that it can never be said that the devil was successful in using one of his most effective tools on you to destroy your relationships. Well, 
that's all I have for you guys today. And I hope it blesses you. I hope it helps you. Relationships are important and we don't want the enemy just to destroy everything that we work so hard to build with each other. So if you like this, why don't you go ahead and share it with somebody else? Leave me a comment. Actually, why don't you tell us how communication proper or miscommunication has affected your relationships? Let's encourage each other. And until next time, continue to be extraordinary through Christ.